Hey everyone, this is the February Wraith Rain newsletter. We're going to have a lot of material this time around because we didn't do last month's. I was just about to start and Wraith texts me, I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> so I decided it would be better to hold off on that in case things got delayed, and they did. So now we're back. In case you haven't checked the January schedule, please do. Very exciting stuff coming up because Everdark Academy is starting on the 31st. This is a whole day earlier than she previously thought. And that's because when she made the schedule, she was unaware that January had 31 days until a few members pointed it out. So thanks to you, few members who pointed it out, you get Everdark Academy a day earlier. And she's really, really excited about it. So members, please chime in as much as you can with your thoughts, your reactions, your ideas. If you haven't been here for the beginning of a new serial, it's a lot of fun. Wraith really, really listens to your feedback because it's the way that she can refine her ideas and figure out if what she's writing is working for you and... Writing at the beginning of a new serial is really hard, even if it's a direct continuation of an existing one, because there's all new viewpoint characters. So really, she values your thoughts, constructive criticism, glowing <laughs> praise, whatever. Tell her what you think. Four Everdark Academy chapters, starting January 31st, to look forward to. Empire of Stars readings are not going to be happening in February. Wraith is taking everything off that she can to make sure that Cinders and Ashes 3 is the best ever 125,000 word volume. I mean, what? Did I say that? Uh, seriously, she said it's going long, which when you think about it, the last one was around 75,000 words. So what does that mean for Cinders and Ashes 3? I guess we'll find out. On February 20th, not that the schedule is up just yet when I'm recording this, Wraith is going to have the discussion about Koth's junk, alien sex. That's right. The discussion you've all been waiting for. She thought she would get to this period a lot sooner, except that this is Wraith we're talking about. She will go 40 chapters in a single day. So... <laughs> um, and also go back to the Build an Alien link. I'll post a link in the description, keep your ideas coming for the alien races that they're going to encounter when they get into the real space exploration phase of the story. As for the Dragon's Reign podcast, we are back to regular uploads for members because we've got material ahead. So there will be two episodes on the 13th and one or two on the 27th. But again, Wraith really, really wants to refine Cinders and Ashes 3, which members will get free and first for an exclusive download period before it goes live on Amazon. What else is there for storybook and project updates? Well, the next serial to end will be Tidebound. And Tidebound will probably go into March. Everything got a little bit delayed. Uh, Dragon's Reign is going to end around three months away, the end of April, maybe into May. Cinders and Ashes 3, uh, the pre-order, if you haven't noticed, is up for March 27th. So anyone who has a three-month membership or more will get this book free. The audiobook for Cinders and Ashes 1. We've been getting questions, so this is complicated. Our best guess is that the audiobook will come out no earlier than February, which is, you know, a few days away right now, but... There have been crazy problems at ACX lately. We're not going to go into all of the author and <laughs> Amazon drama, but suffice it to say, they could be better managed. And they close for December. Why? We have no idea, but they do. So while the recording for Cinders and Ashes 1, which we are dying to promote because this actor is so good, the recording was done mid-December, but... They didn't touch it until they returned from their month-long vacation in January. So that's the story as we know it. The audiobook for Cinders and Ashes 2 is also going to be recorded, and who knows when that's going to come out. 
it's all up to ACX and Amazon. And once we get the recordings into their hands, we have no control. <laughs> so let's look at the free stuff. Uh, coming up is going to be Merman 1, January 29th for the usual five-day period. If you are on any of our mailing lists, our Facebook, or check the YouTube channel, we will post at least one reminder because we don't want anyone to miss this. And Cinders and Ashes 1 is coming up February 4th through the 8th. So if you haven't had a chance to read the beginning of this very creative high fantasy retelling of Cinderella, then be sure to grab that in just a few days. The Vampires Club box set, that's uh, books one to three, is going to be free from February 18th to 22nd. So you have a lot of cool stuff to download this month. And then for members on the 6th, there will be 25 audiobook codes. And that's the end of the official business. We have had, of course, some really cool discussions on the Discord. And what I have seen, I'm a lurker on the Discord. I don't really um, comment unless somebody specifically tags me in. But I happen to see that they're doing a Valentine's Day fan event. If you want to participate, it's very simple. Create a Wraith Rain fan art, fanfic, or whatever creative thing you want and post it in Wraith fan art on Valentine's Day. It will bring fun and love to everyone on this day. So if that's not a good excuse to join the Discord, I don't know what is. If you're looking to hang out and discuss recipes or art or fan theories, then jump on over. I'll post the invitation, which I hope is the permanent one. <laughs> Haven't quite got the hang of that in the description. So that's it. And I hope that this January has found you well. If you were worried about Wraith, she's completely recovered, completely back to normal. It was just one of those freak things that happens. Anyway, talk to you next month.